homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, today I'm here with my drill press and I'm going to start the process of turning this Harbor Freight drill press into a milling machine. Now, look, I know it's never going to be a hardcore milling machine. Never. Never, never, never. But for machining plastic, aluminum, wood, and maybe some mild steel, it might do pretty good. Uh, I've made some purchases uh, to get us ready to get to this point. So all we're doing today is we're evaluating this drill press on what its features are and how we can use those to start the process of making a mill. So let's get at that and see uh, if we can convert this drill press into a mill. First off, we'll start right here. This was manufactured in February of 2004. Okay, so that's when this uh, mill was made, or when this drill press was made. It's a full floor model drill press. Got a nice table here. It's got a floor stand that's pretty heavy duty. Now in this table, right here, right there, let me pull it around here where I can see. Right here, this is a three quarter inch gap. Now I messed up and bought half inch, uh, half inch mounts to go in these gaps but we'll figure out something to make them work okay we'll work together and figure out something to make them work uh, now right here this drill press has an automatic return so that when you press the drill press down see how this works it automatically it's got a spring in there that automatically brings it up to zero okay so we got to Figure out how we want to deal with that. That might be a problem. Now, on the back end here, it has a one and a half horsepower capacitor start motor, 110 volts. Okay, it's a 110 volt operation, single phase. And then right here, it has a water bottle that you can use. Now, right here is a hole. Right there that goes down to another water bottle that I don't have and if you'll notice that's all ripped up so I'll have to mount a water bottle down there I'll have to figure that out and and we'll do that but it's made for drip irrigation well that'll have to be talked about too I'll have to figure out some way to fasten that in so that I can turn this without without having to worry about this bottle falling out so it'll have to get a, a more substantial clamp so I can turn that on and off but what you normally use in these machinists use something called soluble oil it's a water and oil you can use straight water just to be honest if you're not worried about rust water is just fine for cooling aluminum uh, of course you wouldn't use any of it anything on wood uh, now where I taught at the at the technical college, we didn't like to put they didn't like to put the machinists didn't like to put wood on their mills because the wood would get oil in it and get in the get in the mechanisms and swell up and sometimes it would cause them to lose accuracy. So let's uh, move on to the other side and look at what's over there. Now over here we have the handles. Of course, two of these handles are going to go away. They can be unscrewed. Okay, because what's going to happen is they're going to be in the way down here. So those handles unscrew so I can remove those so that they won't be in the way of our milling process because they stick down too far. Whoop, excuse me. They stick down too far. Well, get in there. There we go. 
they stick down too far and they'll be down here, down here in the way of where we're milling stuff. So those need to be removable. Well, that's nice because they are removable. Now, here on the other side, on over here, here's what the drill press is. It's a central machinery precision drill press, uh, 20 inch, number 39955, uh, 120 volt, 60 hertz, single phase, one and a half horsepower, 12 speeds, four inch spindle stroke. In other words, this, this will go down four inches, uh, but I don't know if we'll be using any of the spindle stroke. We're going to talk about that here in just a second. So, up here on top, of course it's 12 speeds. You can see the speeds there. It goes from 4200 uh, RPMs to 150 RPMs. Right now, the way it's set with the uh, this one at the bottom, that one at the top, and at the top on the end, this one at the bottom and top, it's set at 150 RPMs. Well, that's perfect for drilling in mild steel. But that's not what we're going to be doing. So we need to be able to go up to 4,200 RPMs or 3,000 RPMs, 2,950. So to mill aluminum and stuff. So it has that capability. It's all manually done. Now, where is it done from? Right here. You set it from right here. You can loosen this, and it loosens the motor and allows the motor to swing back and forth, and then you move the belts for what speed you want. So it will be that. I'll have to do that. Now, on the front, on the front, of course, is our start and stop. Right here is the start and stop. Okay. And there's a light. I doubt that you can even see it. It's because the backdrop from the door. Close this lid. The lid just shuts real simple and opens real simple. It's just pull up and down. Now as far as the machine raising and lowering. This machine raises and lowers raises and lowers from right here show you it raises and lowers from right here there's a crank handle you loosen it here and then you can crank it up and down okay then you lock it in So the dick can't move. And it's pretty solid as far as moving goes. In comparison, it, you have to move the whole machine to make it move. Uh, then over here on the side, there is a an adjustment right here so that you can lock down this. Right now I've got it set so that it only goes two feet. See the little two mark there? It can only go down two feet, so when it, or two inches. So when it moves and it goes down two inches, it stops automatically. You can adjust that to make it drive down whatever distance you want it to drive down. Now, let's talk about the head for a minute. Now this has a standard drill head right here. I'm sure it's got a Morse taper up in there. I haven't taken it out, so I don't know for certain. Uh, will this be enough to use, or am I going to have to put a collet on this? That's what I'm anxious to see. Now, one of the things that I'm worried about, let's talk about that a second. One of the things that I am worried about is that when this cranks down, when that cranks down, will it move side to side? Well, in feeling of this head, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to push this 
and let's see if it goes to side to side. I'm not seeing any movement at all. I don't know if you're seeing movement. I can feel the this part move a little, but as far as the chuck, I'm not seeing any or feeling any movement. So it might be that I could raise and lower this from these handles to set my depths. All right? It might work out good or it might not. Now there's also right here is a lock that looks like I can loosen that and lock this in place so that it sits totally still. I've got a sneaking feeling that it's possible that I will have to work with this up here to keep it from moving too much and have to move my table up and down. But that's all something that we'll have to deal with as we get into the process of turning this into a mill. Now, a little hack. These little magnetic things, they are great for keeping drill bits and stuff like that over here by your... Those will set right there. Okay? Set right there. And when you need to use your your chuck key, you can use it, and then you just get it up here close, and it automatically grabs it and gets it out of the way. So, that's, that's a great uh, thing you can have on the side of your drill press. Now, on the back, back here, there is an adjustment that I can tilt this table, and there's a, if you look, there is a, uh, put it where I can see, that you can see. There is a scale here that allows me to move the table up and down. This is set to zero to match the, to match the chuck. So I can tilt that if I want to do 10 degrees or 5 degrees or whatever and I want to mill something. So I can do that. So those are the features of the drill press that I think will make it all right for being an aluminum and mild steel and wooden mill. Okay, we're gonna be working on this mill. I don't know how many episodes it'll take uh, to do the conversion, but uh, it'll take a few episodes. This is the first one. Uh, this is the features of the drill press that makes me think that I can turn it into a usable mill. I'm all the time needing to make parts out of aluminum or parts out of mild steel or odd shaped parts out of wood that is a little more than my than my uh, I can do on my table saw or with other things so this might be one of those things I actually think if I do this right I can create a, uh, a situation that I can rotate okay I can make rotating stuff and make this be a lathe too. So I can make a lathe attachment. So I'll have a mini uh, milling, drilling, and lathe system uh, here on the homestead that I can use over and over and over and over. So uh, stick with us. We'll do this in episodes. Uh, and then after I get it done, I'll do a, a large episode uh, that shows you all of the features. So... If you like this stuff, this homesteading, working in the shop, doing stuff, creating stuff, making stuff out of stuff that's not meant for that, engineering type things, uh, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this hillbilly engineering stuff all the time, sometimes one, sometimes five videos, and we upload on Sundays. Now, with that being said, it's time for me to get on to the next thing.